And if we made um, Kill Your Friends in 2015, uh, when record labels haven't really got much money and only seven artists sell any records, how would it be different and what would it look like now? Well, I, I, I was trying to answer this the other day because somebody said to me, you know, I can interview a young girl for Radio 1 and she was saying, I'll get friends in music business now and they say it's no different to mm-hmm. what it was back then in terms of partying and excess. And I suspect there's a bit less money. Because just, you know, you work for the NME, you, you do the maths. I mean, a big record now, you look, if you're doing really well, if you sell 100,000 and they cost £7, £8, you know, back then, loads of albums did a million. Cast did a million. Portishead did a million plus. You know, um, Dodgy were triple platinum. You know, uh, they, we sold 10 times the volume and they cost 14 quid a pop back then. So 10 times the volume at double the price. You do the you do the math as they say in America. Um, you know. I just think that Stone Fox would be wearing sort of thick knit jumper now and pretending that he was like part of the band, but he'd still be equally psychopathic and cutthroat. And I, I think it's more disposable. If anything, the music industry's just got more disposable. I think it's more cutthroat now. If you think about how quickly someone becomes a star and then literally and how quickly they vanish <sighs> nowadays, mm. it's 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 ter- I think that's quite scary if you're if you're an artist. I th- I think what's become much more pronounced now which didn't exist so much 20 years ago, as you kids who, if you're successful, either as a filmmaker, a writer, or a musician, then the whole thing, like what we're having to do today, no offence to him, it's lovely to be asked, but interviews, red carpets, promotion, premieres, that's the kind of waste product, the byproduct of being successful or something. You kinda, this is what you get paid for. I'd write the movies and the books for nothing between you and I. But y- y- this is what the money's for, to actually have to sell the thing. But you've got a generation now who are only attracted to the waste product, who think that the red carpets and the premieres and going like this and getting your photo taken, that's what you get into it for, you know? So I think that, you know, if you could remove all that and just do, just write your stuff and make your movies and it would just somehow magically sell. I think that's what a creative person wanted to do. But, you know, we've raised a generation that are only interested in the waste product of fame and success, so that's quite an achievement. <laughs> <laughs>